and break the law. Section 2, Mr Speaker, that is a very serious allegation to make. I took that oath in English and Welsh. I took it twice, and I believe in it in both languages, indeed any language. Um, and I'm sorry that he takes that view. I have done everything uh, I possibly can consistent with that oath to make sure that this government acts in a way that is consistent with the rule of law. That is what is happening. This House is directly involved quite properly in these deliberations, these serious deliberations. Amendments are being made to this bill as we speak and the contingency in which these, ex these exceptional provisions are to be used has been clearly set out. These are unprecedented times. We do not want to see a breach in any obligations, either by us or by the EU. But it, it would be irresponsible if we did not make those necessary preparations. That is why I am here, and that is why I will continue to be here as long uh, as I feel able to discharge my oath. And I can tell him that I feel very able to discharge my oath thus far. This bill gives the Lord Chancellor and other ministers the power to run a coach and horses through their obligations under the withdrawal agreement. I know members opposite don't like that, but that's the reality. Now just how, in light of what the English Court of Appeal has said, is this bill compatible with his oath as Lord Chancellor to uphold the rule of law? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. As I've said to the Honourable and Learned Lady, uh, the contingency which uh, underlies the coming into force and use of these powers is a very narrowly and clearly delineated one. I do not believe, as I've said in public, that we are there at that stage, and I don't believe we will get to that stage if both parties renew their efforts, uh, act in good faith, and double down on making sure we get that resolution. Uh, it would have been far easier for us to avoid the issue, to pretend that there wasn't going to be a problem, and then for us to hit the new year with an avalanche of difficulties when it came to Northern Ireland and its relationship with the rest of the United Kingdom. The video sharing app TikTok, which is popular with teenagers around the world, says